Something I really appreciate about the video installations is the transparency. The fact that many people who have contributed to the creation of content in the exhibit, such as the researchers, are actually going to be within the video installations themselves. So people visiting the museum can see the researchers talking from their lived experience, their passion, their subjective points of view. And I think that helps people engage to be more interactive with the exhibit. It helps them think about what, what are their ethics, morals and values? What's their lived experience? And what do they think of this content and the way that it's being presented? She'll never have the embarrassment of forgetting a date or of being ready an hour too late. Hmm, that's a good note to write yourself any night, but especially when you're getting ready for a date. One of the things I really love about editing the video installations is adding the archival footage to the interviews that we're getting. I think archival footage such as the sex ed films from the 40s, 50s, the 80s, 90s help to contextualize what people are talking about and the kind of education they may have received at that point in time. It also it adds a layer of playfulness and I think that's so important as well. Some of the stuff that comes up in the exhibit is really poignant and powerful and hard to hear, but some of it is also playful and fun. Why go through all the hassles of going to a doctor? Well, what should I do then? I read about this cure in a book on herbs. It's organic. The only cure for VD is antibiotics, which are specifically prescribed for the disease by a qualified medical person. I really hope that the whole exhibit has this emotional rhythm and pacing, much like a feature film may have, that keeps people engaged and accesses different emotions. I think by doing that, it sustains people's level of interest in the exhibit, but also be able to tap back into those thoughts about it afterwards when they have discussions about the exhibit, but hopefully also proactive, healthy discussions around sexualities that are more informed because of what they took from the exhibit itself.